What's up, everybody? Do you have a rhythmic prop account and you're just tired of the platform that you're trading on because it's, you know, just not cool? And you saw that Quant Tower is pretty cool and that led you here. And now you're trying to figure out how to set up your rhythmic account on Quant Tower. Well, let's get to it. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to obviously have rhythmic set up. You're already going to have your agreement signed. So you're going to be signed in, all that good stuff. You've already done that. That's a whole nother video. Here, you're just going to go to quantower.com and you're going to click on the download button. You're going to install it, do all that good stuff. There's a download button up here as well. And once you have that installed and you open it up, and I think there's going to be a pop-up that says accept and continue, I hit that. And then up top, you're going to see where it says rhythmic. You're going to click on that and it's going to pop this window up. Now up here, I'm not sure if it'll have a plus sign or what it'll say, but you know, it might look like this and then you have to hit the plus sign. You're going to type in your username and password, the same one that you typed into one rhythmic itself. And you're going to make sure that you have this selected correctly. So if you're not in the United States, you're going to find where you are, but you are going to make sure that it's the paper trading one, paper trading Chicago. If you're in the U S paper trading anywhere else, if you're not now, keep in mind that is because these are essentially demo accounts, right? We're not actually trading the market with these prop accounts. These aren't real orders going through to the actual market. So for them to, I guess, stay legal, they have to use the paper trading data as well, which is live data. It's just, it's under the paper trading part of Rhythmic. So select that, put in your info, you're going to hit connect. And then when it's connected, you're going to see this pop up. It's going to say status connected, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. And there you go. You're good to trade. Quant Tower itself, that's a whole nother video as well, setting it up, et cetera. But if you're logged in to Rhythmic and, and all that good stuff, you don't actually have to be logged in for the pop up, but there's going to be two areas. There's going to be one here in the bottom left where your account should show up. I don't think they might not show up right away after you sign into Rhythmic. They might, I'm not sure, but this is where they both will be. You will possibly have to just restart Quant Tower, just exit out and get back in. And what you're going to want to do if you have more than one account is make sure that both of these say the same. So this is just a view, right? So this is just to view your accounts. And then up here, if you're using this trading bar is where this is the account you're actually trading. I've made this mistake before. I was actually trading my funded account and I thought over here, I had the non-funded account listed. So I thought I was trading that one. And then I closed the trade. And this all still said zeros. And I was like, whoa. So just keep that in mind. One little tip uh, to get you started with Quant Tower. Other than that, you can kind of fool around and mess around. And maybe I'll make a video on the features of Quant Tower moving forward. But for now, this is all this video has in store. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.